Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Harry was in the lemon tree. Looks like all of the trees are back on the menu. Hair bear had gone up there and he went up after hair bear. She didn't stay for very long. He wasn't up there for that long either. He can't go very far because there's a lot of new growth in the tree that I haven't trimmed off yet. Plus the fact the bark on a lemon tree is smooth. In places it's not so easy for him um, to get around. He can climb if he wants to. Dipper. I didn't praise him then for some reason, usually do. The black cat on the stairs is Hair Bear. That's her preferred place. There's William up on the roof. The big white cat is Fergus. Now he's gonna get a telling off from Molly. I'm surprised Molly actually comes in for food. She doesn't like other cats. Now watch, she'll go down under the wall. She'll make her way down the bank. And then she'll jump down and go onto the road. She'll follow the road down about 10, 15 meters. And then she'll turn to the left, down a, a set of steps that lead her to the chicken sheds. And she'll go up onto the roof. And she'll stay on those, probably not in the heat of the day, probably go into the olive tree. And at four o'clock, she will make her way back up to the house for food again. The black cat going up the steps is Woody. And he's gonna get right in front of William. And then William will get him out of the way. And once he's seen him off, he comes down the stairs. William, as you know, is blind. All of my blind cats know where they are, inside the house, on the terrace, in the garden, on the driveway, at all times. They just wander around at their leisure. They don't panic, this is Momo, she's blind. These people that say that you can't pick a blind cat up, move them around, put them down somewhere else because they get confused. This is Boffers, everyone. The cat that took all that time to get back into the family. Yeah, those people that say that you can't, you know, pick a cat up in your kitchen, take it to the lounge or take it out into the garden because if you put them down, they won't know where it is. The cat won't know where it is. I spend a lot of time with my blind cats when they come to me as kittens. So they get to know their surroundings, the smells, where they are. 
so that when they're ready, when they're confident, you know, if there's a loud noise, if a lorry goes past or a car or people, they won't panic because they know where they are, they know where they can go back to, they know where the house is. Unless you're willing to spend time with your cats, your blind cats, to make their lives as easy as possible, then you are going to get confusion. <laughs> as you all know by now, I believe in giving my blind cats a chance at a regular life, a seeing life. So I spend as much time as I have to with them to build up their confidence, to get them to a point where they are able to walk along the uh, wall here, have a scratch on some olive, play in the garden. While I was filming one thing, I didn't see Kira. She came up behind Hair Bear, and then Hair Bear came flying past me and went up the olive tree. Now Kira will sit and wait, just like she did over on the, uh, well, down the garden the other day. There's my moat. Blind cats can be awkward when they want to be. And Kira, Momo wants to get past Kira and come through the fence, shortcut. And then William wants to go through the fence to go out onto the wall. Kira will not get out of the way because Kira wants to sit there and hope that Hair Bear comes down the tree. So there's Momo on the other side of the fence. And here comes William. Both want to use the, <laughs> the shortcut. And Kira is sitting in there. just to be really awkward she puts herself half in and half out so there is no way anyone is going through there and Kira isn't afraid to defend herself there's only one cat that scares her or used to I've done about now and that's Woody my mo's given up she went off back down the wall. So William and Kira swap paws. But still she won't move. That's Fergus. Now Fergus has spotted Harvey coming across the road. He was late for breakfast yesterday morning. And Fergus is on it straight away. Hope you've all enjoyed this long video everyone. There is more to come as usual and uh, we will all see you again a bit later. I've got to go and feed the village cats now. So I'll catch up with you all again soon.